A young woodcutter named Taro lived with his parents on a lonely hillside. He worked hard to fulfill his parents' wishes. He used to work hard but earned very little money. He was sad because he wanted to make his parents happy. One evening, everyone was sitting in their hut and started feeling very cold. Taro's father wanted to have a cup of sake as it could warm him and benefit his heart. Taro became sad as the sake was very expensive and he could not afford it. He decided to work harder and earn more money. Taro saw a waterfall hidden behind a rock. Next day, Taro went to the forest earlier than usual. He chopped and cut more woods. He was tired and thirsty. His mouth was dry and his face was wet with sweat. But he kept thinking about his father that he wanted to have sake. He thought he must earn extra money to buy sake for this father and warm the old man's bones. He heard some sound of rushing water. He had never heard or seen any stream in the part of the forest. But he was thirsty and dropped his axe and ran in the direction of the sound. He discovered a beautiful little waterfall. He had some water and found it was the delicious sack instead of cold water. Taro filled a pot for his father and went to his home. His father was delighted with the sack. A lady came to his house, and Taro's father offered her a cup of sack. The lady thanked him. Taro told her the story of the magic waterfall. After finishing the delicious drink, she quickly went outside and spread the story to the entire village. People visited Taro's house to taste the sake. There was long procession of visitors to Taro's house. Each man heard the story of the waterfall and took a sip of the sake. Taro's neighbors went to the waterfall to get the magic sake. Taro went to the waterfall with the largest pot he owned to fill it with the sake. He found all of his neighbors were present there and were carrying pitchers, jars, buckets, etc. to get the magic sake. A villager knelt and held his mouth under the waterfall to drink. He said it was just cold water and not the sake. They got angry and shouted that they will kill Taro. Taro heard them, that they were planning to kill him. He moved silently from there. Taro checked it himself, whether it was the same fine sake. After the villagers have gone from there, Taro went near the waterfall to check if it was the same fine sake. He put the liquid to his lips and found it to be the same delicious sake but it was the cold water for everyone.